Well, hello everybody. So I got an Amazon buy that I thought was going to be perfect. I, it was a $30 Amazon buy. I decided to get a pea coat, and guess what? I'm so upset by this Amazon purchase that I I'm tempted that I might have to return it. But I am not going to return it. No, no, no. I'm going to tear it apart and get the pattern from it. Came in the mail dirty all over. Um, it was all wrinkly. The pockets were not in the same place. They make the line mess up. Plus, when I tried it on, it didn't fit whatsoever. Even though I had measured myself and gotten the right measurements because I'm a seamstress. And this was just kind of like, I was so upset. So, I'm going to take my handy dandy seam ripper and I'm going to tear apart the whole thing instead of returning it because I don't want to do that. So instead of making it so I'm like upset about this, I want to make this a positive thing. That's why I'm tearing it apart. And I'm going to make my own coat instead so that it actually fits me and it looks nice. Because I like the look of it and everything. It's just, I don't... It doesn't fit me and it it just doesn't fit right. It doesn't look good. I'm gonna make it look good. I'm gonna change it and make it look good. I'm gonna scavenge all the pieces off of it. Not even use a pattern, just the coat itself. And yeah, we're gonna have a blast. Let's get started doing this thing. This coat smells awful. Completely awful. I'm gonna actually take off the buttons because I'm gonna use them for my other coat. I'm using this kind of seam ripper. It's actually one of the best ones I've ever found. I actually will have a link to it in the description below. It is the best seam ripper I have ever had. It is so quick but you have to be super careful with it because it's super sharp. Okay, I think I'm gonna start by detaching the collar. So let's detach it gently. Oh, this stinks. Ugh. Ugh. So bad. Okay, I'm gonna move on to a duller seam ripper so I don't cut the fabric. I have just discovered how weak this is. Look, I can literally tear and it just comes right off. I'm <laughs> I'm glad I'm tearing it apart, but it's kind of sad that it's that it's so unfortunately not well put together. Cuz that's just sad. Moving on. Right. Okay, here are the color pieces, and now I am going to move on to our sleeves. Keep finding buttons everywhere on this coat. After a closer investigation, I have discovered that the sleeve does look the bottom part of it is actually well put together besides having the invisible stitch at the very bottom. It, it's really good. The only thing is it slightly lines up but then it doesn't lay flat inside. So it's okay but after a time of wearing it and washing it, it would not lay correctly anymore. After tearing this apart, looking at the sleeve pattern is probably one of the weirdest sleeve patterns I have ever seen. I really like it though and I think I'm gonna use it. Okay, so I looked at the liner and it's the exact same as the, the sleeve pattern itself so I'm not even gonna bother unpicking that. I'm just gonna leave a note on the sleeve to cut out four pieces so that I know that I can get the liner in there as well. I have taken the liner completely out and I'm doing the 
top part of the coat. I'm just taking that off and then I'm gonna mark what that part is with a sticky note so I don't forget what it is. And I can do this with all my pieces. After I've torn apart this whole coat, I noticed two things that made this coat not fit like it was supposed to. They actually mis mixed up the liner with a different liner because as soon as I took the liner out, I tried it on and it fit perfectly. And so I, that's when I knew that the liner was not the right size that it was supposed to be. Also, they missed a piece in their pattern. You were supposed, to, they had two inches more on the coat that was not put into one of the other pieces and it made it so it didn't lie flat like it was supposed to and it was all bunched up so um either they missed a piece or they cu actually cut two inches and then they added a piece and forgot to add the two inches on the other side but had it not been for that, it would have been better. Also, the thread that was used to sew it together was very weak and wasn't able to hold it together. If you see in my video of me unpicking it, you see me tearing it. It was actually super easy to tear, which is really sad because you know when that happens, the coat isn't gonna last a very long time. Those were the couple things that I would have worked on to make it look better. Also, when I'm going to be sewing this coat, I'm going to do it a little different so that I know that I made it and it's the way I want to make it. This is a different pattern. I don't know what they were thinking because when I was tearing it apart, it did not make sense. And I want my sewing to make sense. So, that's what I'm going to do. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this. Stay tuned, watch me make this coat so that people can see it and... So you can see what I do with it, make it my own. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much. Bye!